Monday. Um, I don't know where my half moons are. I've been looking in this car. I don't know where the hell I put them. I need to look and see if they're possibly in the trunk. But I need them. Um, I don't even have my earbud headphones if I assume that my over the head Beats headphones were in the car. They're not. So, or I haven't seen them rather. Let me not say they're not because they could definitely be in here, but where? Um, anyway, I stopped at the gas station on my way to the gym. I'm in the gym parking lot currently, but I stopped at the gas station because I had to get me some sort of something to get me going. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. And I just got a little rant because I just, I really just despise. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I don't expect anything from anybody. And don't nobody owe me shit. But it's just like common courtesy. A lot of these people don't have. I'm trying to see what this car is doing because, child, yeah, one of them. But I don't understand why is it that because you okay let's give you all the scenario and y'all tell me if i'm i'm tripping am i crazy what is it why is it that a man will look you in your eyes look you dead in your eyes like bitch i see you see me see you see you like come on now be fucking for real and will open the door and then close it right in your face that's what happened to me this morning And I had to look at myself like, okay, I see titties. Okay, like, do I not look like a female? Like, what the fuck is happening here? So, it wasn't no sweat. I held the door open for myself and went right on inside. And guess what happened? They dumbasses. Them, it was a whole bunch of dudes in the store. And they all lined up on one side. Now, my gas station is set up to where the, when you go inside, there's three aisles three aisles could stand in between all three now i know it's not covid no more but it literally has a sign because there's two registers in the front but it literally has little feet on the floor to tell you exactly where to stand and it is they're like literally right next to each other so i wouldn't even say it has to do with covid because they've been there for years since they put that gas station up there whatever there's literally like feet prints telling you where to stand in the gas station when you go inside and then they also have a little part where it says please wait here to get to the register or something like that on the floor it says it has the big old red stop sign so you obviously wait behind that right like i mean I, maybe i'm just the only one with common sense and i understand that yes i am closer to the ground but there's no excuse why nobody doesn't read I don't get it. But anyway, and mind you, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. So guess what? The lady realized that everybody was bunching up on one side. And I was the only one that was standing where I was supposed to be standing. And she was like, okay, excuse me, y'all. I'm going to need everybody to get behind this young lady right here. Now, I can hear all the men like, oh, man. <laughs> like, come on now. And two of which of those men out of the like four or five of them that was over there were the ones that just let the door close on me mm -hmm. so they ended up behind me and i got my celsius and i'm drinking it now in the gas i mean in the parking lot of the damn gym i need to hurry up and drink it quick but i also don't want to drink it so quick that i have to pee so we about to see if we can find them headphones i'm gonna go get in the back seat real quick anyway let me and i gotta put my shoes on my shoes back there anyway so i gotta get back there regardless we're finally leaving the gym and i'm so hungry but i think i'm gonna go get a smoothie a smoothie maybe from tropical it's so gloomy so i'm pretty sure if it doesn't rain today it'll rain tomorrow or the day after that or maybe even tonight it was hot for the last three, four days, and they said it was gonna rain. 
but it never did. So there's that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go get a smoothie from Tropical. And then I really need to go pick up this oil. I needed an oil change about a month ago. And my dad usually handles like all of the car stuff. And I'm not even gonna go there right now, but he ended up texting my brother or calling my brother, I don't know which one, and telling him to tell me that should say enough within itself. Telling my brother to tell me, passing a message, to tell me to go to the guy who usually does all of our car work to go pick up the oil or go get an oil change. Mind you now, I needed an oil change again over a month ago. I started school June 5th and I needed an oil change before school started. So the fact that you're just now saying something to go get it an oil change, knowing damn well I need an oil change over a month ago again till I add but whatever so I'm gonna go get a smoothie with protein from I probably get a green smoothie I'm feeling green I oh yeah I could do apple pay because I was about to say shit I don't even have my wallet I shouldn't even be driving without a wallet but that's neither here nor there so that's what we're about to go do now I'm sweating profusely because it is humid outside because it's definitely gonna rain but shall we continue on with our day all right so i just left tropical i got two smoothies one for myself and one for my mom my treat today um i got her a mango magic regular and then i got myself a pomegranate plunge add a scoop of whey protein because we gotta get our protein in I really want to start back doing 100 grams of protein a day, but I need to get me a tub of protein. I've been hearing that um, Oxy Shred and I want to say L Glutamine go together real bad, but don't quote me. I think I'm right. But don't quote me. So I want to get some Oxy Shred, but I'm really trying to wait to get like all the health products that I want once we move. Right now we're trying to minimalize the, the amount of things that I have to carry from one house to the new house. Like I'm getting rid of my entire bedstead, the headboard, the bed frame, the footboard, the dresser. The nightstand is already gone, but I'm not taking none of that ish to the new house. I'm just not doing it. So I'm bringing um, just my mattress and my box springs for now. And then I'm gonna buy me one. I've already been looking to see which one I want. I already have my color scheme already made up in my head and I can't wait to like bring y'all on this journey with me. So that like, um, as far as like decorating, and all that good stuff, like I'm super excited. Like I wanna vlog the entire process. I'm so excited. But yeah, I really just wanted to come and tell y'all what we got from, I need the, Jemaya, Jemaya be coming in clutch. And I think I probably have another receipt from Jemaya. I need to write her a review. She's always smiling when you get to, like when she sees me every time, it's, hey, how you doing? All shits and giggles. Like, I mean, always smiling. Like she just loves her job and I love that for her. And it, if you having a bad day, if you go see Jemaya, Jemaya gonna smile, baby. She gonna, she gonna get you right each and every time. So I need to go give Jemaya a, a real good review because she sees my face probably two to three times out of the week. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> let me get home and I will come and chit chat with y'all later because I know y'all tired of seeing me in a car. I'm tired of showing y'all that I'm in a car too. But I be trying to tell y'all like I literally spend majority of my time in the car. And I am one of those people that will sit in front of my driveway rocking out with my cock out listening to music in the driveway for about 10, 15 minutes before I get out and go in the house. Like I am one of those people. So I don't know, being in a car just brings me sanity. Hey y'all, so 
back home, changed clothes, showered, all that good stuff. Now we're about to head to Best Buy. I really should go do my edges. I'm gonna go do my edges because we look crazy. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't, I can't even go out like that. BRB. Remember how I like to say, how I said I like to leave the house at one o'clock? It's 110, but we heading out the door. I got my smoothie. I'm out of breath already, and we ain't step foot outside. I just need to breathe and calm down. We're gonna make it on time, but I just want to let y'all know what I'm doing, where I'm headed, and where I'm what I'm up to. Heading out the house. I'll see you all later. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, and me and baby or toddler are on a walk. Y'all can see. Your girl is sweating, not too much, not nothing crazy or whatever. But the girl's out here walking, me and baby. And it's actually pretty cool over here on this trail, thank goodness. Cause I don't, I don't know if I could do it if it was any hotter than what it is. And it wasn't no breeze, but baby got his apple juice and his cup. And we are out here. It is approximately, I put the timestamp so y'all can see what time it is. But we're up and out. This morning I woke up a little, a little late, maybe a lot. And then I just was moving real slow because I was so tired. I'm still tired, but this walk is honestly forcing me to get my behind up. So that's why I was like, let's go for a walk. Maybe that'll wake me up and get him moving. Thank God I didn't forget my sunscreen because I would have been SOL and very sad about it because I'm trying to get rid of this hyperpigmentation and it's pretty much almost gone. So, sunscreen loaded. Anyway, let me finish and enjoy the walk because the sun is sunny and I'll see y'all later. All right, sorry for the AC blasting. Y'all see I'm still profusely sweating from earlier, like that that walk I did it was a mile walk but um probably more than them, probably two miles actually that I did this morning but now I'm on my way home I'm really parched so I have to get me something to drink um thinking about getting me like a coconut water something really hydrating I wish I was on an island somewhere where I could go to a tree to a corner and have a man cut the daggone coconut oil so and cut it so I can drink it, eat the jelly, and keep it moving. <laughs> because you know it's not gonna be authentic coconut water here, but you don't find something because your girl is quite tasty, tasty. But yeah, so now I'm on my way home. It's 12 o'clock. And I have to go home and start packing up all my stuff. Um, clearing out one of my closets. I got some boxes that my aunt gave me that I'm going to be using. So, it's about to do that. Show up there. Anyway, see you all later. Morning, y'all. Y'all see the mess back there? Like I told y'all, I've been telling y'all that we're moving, we're in the process. So I already brushed my teeth, washed my face, moisturized, sunscreen is on. And y'all know I don't play about my lip gloss. So lip gloss is on, retainers are in. Because I forgot to put them in last night before I went to bed. And I was like, I'm not getting up to go upstairs to put retainers in my mouth. I'm just not doing it. So I'm put, I put them back in immediately. As soon as I woke up, brushed my teeth, washed, cleaned and everything. Cleaned the retainers and everything put them right back in so i've already uh so a bunch of this is just the moving process or the packing process i don't have my tripod because i left it at my um cousins in them house so as y'all can see dang I'm trying to show y'all okay you see the box on the floor i'm about to pack all that shit that's on the bed just minor the clothes i mean minus the clothes that minor Minus the clothes that's on the bed. Um, those are clothes that I'm going to be wearing. So I got to figure out, maybe I'll just leave out of a duffel bag for the next couple weeks um, and put the important pieces. I'm not going out, out for real. The only event that I possibly will be going out, out for real 
is um, my cousin's welcome home party from deployment. I think he was in Japan. I believe it was Japan. But he is back in the U.S. Um, <clears throat> currently, or he will be back. So we're throwing him, or my family is throwing him a welcome home party. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to get to packing all that shit up, clothes up. This is stuff that was like clothes, stuff that was in the drawer, the dresser. I literally just took them out, threw them in a the bag, and they need to go outside. So we're we get into it, but I'm about to currently change my clothes. I need to come out these pajamas. Um, my mom's upstairs sneezing. Bless you. You can't hear me right now, but bless you. Um yeah, so let me get into that. I just wanted to check in, say good morning, happy Sunday. Um, yeah. Thank God that you woke up this morning. Thank God that we woke up this morning and continue to have blessings on us and all that good jazz. And make sure you pray. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, about to go ahead and get dressed for class. I was gonna go to the gym. But I think I'm honestly just going to wear gym clothes to class. So, and leave the house now. Excuse my skin from peeling. I exfoliate at night. So, sometimes I peel at night. Sometimes I peel at day, during the day. I just look like a walking zombie everywhere I go all day, every day. But I'm about to get dressed for class. Like I said, I'm wearing gym clothes. And I'm going to stop at i'm gonna go to the nearest ulta i'm just gonna go ahead and leave the house early so that i have time to do all my errands i'm gonna stop get me a protein shake um to hold me i don't feel like eating oatmeal so i'm not eating any oatmeal i'm about to take my vitamins as well my iron and it's my daily multivitamin that i get from target i'm gonna go try to get that sunscreen lip gloss that I've been screaming about. So we're gonna go to a Ulta that has it. Hopefully it's one nearby so I don't have to go too far. But yeah, see y'all later. All right, I washed my face. It's pretty dry as y'all can see. So I'm about to go ahead and put on my sunscreen. Moisture well, I'm gonna moisturize first, then put on my sunscreen because I don't want my face to be really dry. And I'm going to go to the Ulta in Toco Hills. That's the nearest one to me. And they have the lip gloss that I'm looking for for my lips because they've peeled majority, but it's still, I can tell definitely my lips aren't where they should be. So I'm going to get that lip gloss. So I'm about to go moisturize my face. I already brushed my teeth, drank my tea for the morning. Water, I had water was the first thing I put on my stomach this morning when I got up. I am hungry, but I think I think I'm gonna do a smoothie. Um I wish I had some fruit so that my mind is stimulated by me chewing. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Anyway, let me go ahead and get to what I'm about to do. I holla at y'all. Heading out the house now. Oh shit, the alarm is on. Let me go turn it off and then I'm headed out. Um dress for class. Nothing major. <sighs> My stomach is hurting. I don't know what is causing it to hurt, but I don't like it. Maybe it's because I ate the vitamins with nothing on my stomach for real. Ugh, yeah, let's go get something to eat. BRB. Well, that just made me mad. <laughs> Stop that Duncan. Got me a avocado toast. Why they give me this shit just like this? No napkins, no nothing. Thankfully, I usually keep some in my glove and my armrest, but it's like, be fucking for real. Like, why would you give me this shit like this? And it's good, but come on, bro. Like, why would you give me some shit like this? No bag, no nothing. Whatever. But it's good. I'm on my way. I said I'll get there in the next 18 minutes, which isn't bad. Because I usually leave the house to get to class on time by 1 o'clock. I'm genuinely perplexed as to why. You motherfucking driving so slow. The 
bus going faster than that. Yeah, you need to get behind the bus. I don't understand that. That's you really good. Anyway, let me enjoy. my acai bowl i'm thinking should i eat it now or head to class eat it in the car and then yeah i think i'm gonna uh let me turn the air up so it doesn't thaw out too quick but yeah so that's what we're about to do i have the goods right here and we'll eat that on the way I made it and we're walking to class so i'll see y'all when i get out i have about nine minutes to get there and be on time so I'ma holla at y'all. I'm over here thinking I'm recording and I'm not. I gotta go get my mom. It is freaking pouring. We had a day out. We decided to go to Home Goods. And TJ Maxx. We never made it to TJ Maxx. We literally been walking around Home Goods for the last two hours. Oh my God! It is freaking pouring, raining. And I'm soaked. Hurry, 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 hurry. This what is over hurry now? Yeah, I'm soaked. Yeah. Look at my body. I had to get the phone out to make sure it wasn't wet wet in there because the damn sure got wet. I just had a trash bag. All right. We're See, going good. All right. I have to make sure. If the water is running off my legs, making me think bugs are on me. And we had a minute in the bathroom. I didn't think it was going to rain so soon. That's how I was like. It got really dark. But it got really dark for real. All right, I'm gonna warn you, please don't go under nobody's car. Take your time because this, this thing on the rain. Let me, um, I don't want my tires. You need tires? Yeah. I mean, it's not skating, but sooner or later, I'll need tires. This is crazy. We never made it to TJ Maxx. Oh, you got to be fine. Well, it is gonna be one right by the house where we're moving to. You see one? I already looked up what's nearby Bukki. Oh, you did? What we get over there? We get our, our, our Target, CJ Maxx. You get one of these there? Home Goods? Home Goods. Um, what else did I see? Uh, it's also an at home nearby. At home. We've never been to one, but I know it's one in Stockbridge. And they sell like all at home products, like, or things that you would need in a home. Going to yeah, I need to. We're not gonna be able to get in here, so I'm gonna have to go around. We'll go right between here. Mom, I'm not doing that. 